Hey guys, it's me Darren. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reorganizing my bookshelves. Now, I only have two bookshelves. Um, they're not entirely full. In total, I think I could fill up a bookshelf and a half with books on it, actually. Take that back. I'm almost... I could probably fill up two bookshelves full of books. Um, currently, uh, my bookshelves, they're not the cleanest right now, but um, that's what organizing is for, right? So, currently, one bookshelf on, so I have two bookshelves, like I mentioned, two bookshelves. But one of my bookshelves is books that I have not read, so my TBR, and one bookshelf is books that I have read. So, I definitely have a very large amount of unread books, and I'm... I don't really like that. I don't like walking into my room and then looking and being like, I have a lot of books I need to get to. But at the same time, I keep buying books, so it's not really helping me. I'm going to be doing a bookshelf haul sooner or later, and I might be doing a bookshelf unhaul as well because there are a lot of books on these shelves that don't really interest me anymore that I can probably get rid of. I just don't like getting rid of books because I feel like I'm like, like, if they're not good, if I hate, I've never, like, hated a book. Um, I always find a way to enjoy what I'm reading. Um, but sometimes there's just books that you know you're never going to read and they're not, they aren't really worth the room on your shelf. But I'm not going to worry about that today. Today is just for reorganizing. Reorganizing. Now, I don't really know what my organization theme is, I guess. I could do Rainbow. I've done that before. But yeah, that's basically what I'm doing today. I'm just going to be reorganizing my bookshelves and then possibly flipping my unread books around. Without further ado, let's get started. Um, uh, first, I'm going to clean off my bookshelves because there are like pencils and random knickknacks all over my bookshelf. Like, obviously. <sighs> but, you know, since Easter's on the way, I thought, let's put some chicks up on my bookshelf. By the way, those are from Hobby Lobby. Also, I'm wearing uh, one of my new shirts today. If you don't know this by now, if you haven't like seen my videos and if you're like not familiar, I love SpongeBob and you will see that because like almost 100% of the time I'm wearing something SpongeBob related. It, you can probably tell my walls filled with SpongeBob, my bookshelves filled with SpongeBob. SpongeBob is my favorite thing ever. Um <laughs> I'm not going to grow out of it either. But if you're wondering where I get these from, I got this off the Hot Topic website. And I have another one. And it's a Weenie Hut Jr. shirt. And I think it's so fun. I get a lot of questions asking where I find the clothes um, with all the Spongebob on it. And I get it from Rue21. This one specifically is from Hot Topic. Hot Topic has more of my favorite kinds of Spongebob shirts. They have more unique Spongebob designs. Well. Whereas, um, Rue 21 has more of just, like, the same prints, just on different colored tie-dye shirts. A lot of Rue 21 shirts are tie-dye. I don't really know why, but they have some good clothes there. That's where I get the majority of my clothes, is at Hot Topic and Rue 21. So if you're ever wondering where I get my clothes, just check those online stores. Also, I'm really sorry for the large pimple on the side of my face. I was messing with it today. I was like, what is that? <laughs> and... I looked in the mirror and I was like, that's a pimple. You know, let's pop it. Um, and also, I'm sorry for the redness on my nose. I have a lot of dry skin and I've just been like, yeah, just picking at it. Um, I have a really weird nose and I don't know what's wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with me. I should not talk like that. I am beautiful. Also, I'm really sorry if I'm really close to the frame right now, but deal with it. So anyway, I'm going to show you what the bookshelves look like now. And then let's get to organizing.
organize my notebook shelves because I just, I'm not really in the mood for looking at notebooks. I'm just in the mood to look at my books. So that's what the purpose of the video is. So that's what I'm just going to do. So yeah. Ah. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's start making stacks of books. This is my favorite part. I love making the stacks of books and just looking at them. Okay. This is future daily editing, and I'm at my mom's house right now. So, also I got a haircut, so yeah. But anyway, the purpose of this little put-in clip is um, to tell you that I talk a lot in these next few minutes of the video, and I sped it up. And if you want to see a separate video of me just talking to you while I clean off my bookshelves, I can post that if you want, just if people prefer kind of videos like that. But I just sped it up, so I don't want to be like oh, and then you not know what i'm saying i'm just saying that i sped up this part because i don't I feel like not everyone wants to see me just talk but if you want to i'll post a video of it so yeah <laughs> So here's a stack of books. Sorry, my camera thing got in the way. But I've got about um, eight stacks right here. No, nine stacks right here full of books. So they're kind of already sorted into the shelves I had them in before, but now I'm just going to go alphabetical like I mentioned. So here are the shelves. You think they're good and then you're like, whoa. Nope, they're not. <laughs> but that's. I'm just going to sit down and start organizing. So I'm going to set this right here. Is that like a good angle?
rest of the books right there, um, there's two stacks, and they're just the series that go on the top of my bookshelf all the time, so those are where they're going to be anyway. So now it's time for the tedious, boring, time-consuming part of reorganizing my bookshelves by author, alphabetically. What you're about to hear is just me struggling to plug in my light bulb, um, and I'll explain how hard it is afterward. <laughs> Oh my god, it took forever! Oh my gosh, I don't know if, like, you could hear me while I was struggling so bad. It took, like, five minutes out of my time of organizing books just to freaking plug in this thing because the plug-in hole is, like, behind my chair and I can't see. Oh my gosh, I hate it when that happens. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there's that shelf. I actually kind of like that shelf. It feels colorful and that's what I really like to see. There's that shelf. This one's also pretty colorful. Um, with the light shining on it, it's actually really colorful and I actually really like it. This does not bother me one bit. Um, and then I will know where all my books are. I still have a little bit of room left here. Um, there was a little bit of room left on this shelf. I guess I could try and fit. This time will be different, but I don't think I'll be able to fit such a, a larger book than one of these. So, yeah, all these shelves are looking pretty good so far. I actually like them. They're glowing. <laughs> Look at them. Um, okay, so now we're going to go to that shelf. Again, I think this shelf honestly looks pretty colorful other than the Alan Gratz books. Other than that, like this stuff pretty much is good enough for me. I really like the way this is turning out. wrong 
again, I accidentally started from A and then worked backward. So I'm going to put these up onto the next shelf. keep my W. Bruce Cameron books together. So the thing is, um, I'm going to have extra shelf room because that shelf is going to be practically empty because there's only going to be a few books on it. Um, so I don't know what that means. I do have one book I haven't put into the shelf yet because um, I'm reading it currently. Oh. So I'm done putting all the books on. I just took this off the wall because I have some extra room on this top shelf here. And I thought that'd be cute, and I like it there, so I'm putting that back where it used to be. And I'm just going to put the decorations on, and then I'll be right back and show you where I put them. Okay, so I got all of my uh, decorations up. There's some that I'm just going to leave out because I don't want it to be as crowded as it usually is. So, yep, and that's what that's going to look like for now, at least. Um, kind of like it like that. Um... Just fills up the space, and once I get more books, I'll just fill that space up a little bit more. I did get, I did get Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe in here, and it fits. And there's some wiggle room on some shelves, so that's always a good sign, just showing that you still have room. Um, and I definitely still have room. But now I'm just gonna put those books on the top shelf, and then I think I'm gonna call it a night for filming but other than that i think i'm just going to flip the books around and then just show you which ones i flipped around in another video so because also just because my battery's going to die soon so i just have to hurry and i'm just going to put those books up top so yeah hello i'm back again um so i didn't film an outro for this and i don't have my camera with me to show you Plus, I'm at my mom's house, and this is taking place at my dad's house. So, this is just going to be my weird outro. Um, I always have weird outros. I never film outros for some reason, but hopefully you don't care. So, you're just going to be listening to me talking to you for a couple seconds more. So, I did flip around my unread books. And I like it. Um, so, yeah, I kept my bookshelves the way they were because I really like the way they look now. But anyway, that's my outro. Thanks for watching and subscribe. And I'm sorry I don't post as often as I want to. I just sometimes am not in the mood to film. But thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment, and click a thumbs up. Oh, I already said that. Um, I will see you whenever I see you next. Bye.